this is Greg Rakestraw, and you're watching the UND Experience. We're doing this once a month from the Donatos at Madison and Edgewood, just south of the University of Indianapolis campus. Constantine Popa is back for his second season as the head coach at the University of Indianapolis, and he will rely on a lot of familiar faces that went to the NCAA tournament a season ago. How are these first couple of weeks been going for you and your team so far? Yeah, it's good to see it too. Um, I would say so far so good, and you know, I've seen a lot of good things. Uh, uh, we've been going for a little while now, and uh, definitely excited to start playing some games. I know myself and my coaching staff, but I, uh, obviously the players too. You know, it's uh, we've been practicing for a while now. Things are looking pretty good. Um, put a couple new things in, but uh, it's uh, it's much easier this year that uh, compared to last year. This time having all the returning players pretty much and know most of the stuff that we're going we're gonna to do this year. So what has that been like for you, knowing that you see so many familiar names and faces out there on the floor every day? Definitely uh, a lot more comfortable, obviously, and um, I'm sure the players feel the same way. It's, uh, it's always going to have most of the team or uh, pretty much almost everybody returning and right. uh, obviously knowing what we do and how we do things uh, by now and uh, like I said a lot more comfortable a lot more easier to uh, put new stuff in and, and uh, expect to pretty much get it done fast. Uh, really you're starting backcourt uh, in, in Katie McIntosh and Kristen Turner they both now each been in the program three years and played a whole lot of minutes what is that like for you as a coach knowing how talented and how experienced your backcourt is for every game well it's it's good to know uh, you know what you got coming back and, yeah. and uh, what you're gonna get out of your you know particular players and that's what I know and I'm very comfortable with the two of them and uh, and a few others obviously but uh, you know they uh They've been great for us, you know, really good players, really good students, and, uh, and fantastic people, so. What has impressed you so far about what you've seen from your teammates? Um, like you said, we have a bunch of people returning, so I just think that we know each other really well, and we play really well together because of that. So. Talk about how you kind of have changed your role, because as a high school player, you were the star. You were at every, the offense kind of rotated around you. Now you kind of fit your game around other equally talented players. How big of a change has that been for you over the years? Yeah, it has been a big change. Um, I think I like stepped up on defense, and I've worked, you know, on my defensive game. So I'm, you know, really proud to be able to contribute that mm -hmm. into college ball because I know that wasn't really there in high school. What's the next step then for this team in 2012 and 2013? With everyone returning, you know, we have always had our sights set on a national championship, and I think we have a very good chance of getting that this year if we all play up to our potential. Uh, congratulations on what was a phenomenal season for you last year. I guess just kind of looking back on it, what are you most proud of about the great junior season you had? Um, just being able to come in and play and not ever have that opportunity you know I'm just happy that I had a chance to like go out and you know play for the first time so. she's underselling it folks she averaged over 20 points a game <laughs> uh, last year and, and and was the leading scorer in, in the Great Lakes Valley mm -hmm. Conference tell us about what the expectations are for you and your teammates then this year I mean we're definitely wanting to go farther this year you know we're wanting to get that conference championship under our belt you know that's what we strive for every day working hard so you know we're just wanting to go farther in the postseason we've interviewed both you and Katie and you guys grew up about 15 miles apart from each yeah. other in Austin and Seymour <laughs> I would imagine you guys have seen each other in high school games <laughs> and AAU basketball for oh, a yeah. long long time yeah she was my big rival in high school <laughs> <laughs> can you think Always. back when was, when was the first time you guys played against each other can you think back that far it was in middle school yeah. our, our middle school and high school played each other so we've seen each other a long time. What has it been like now being teammates the two together for the last three years? Everyone always said at the beginning so how's it gonna be you playing with Katie <laughs> and I was like much better playing with her than against her. You don't so. have to guard her that way do you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah.
As always, thanks to the great folks at Donato's for hosting us for the U Indy Experience, located on the corner of Madison and Edgewood, just south of the University of Indianapolis campus. Of course, you can watch these features as many times as you'd like by going to the official athletic website of the University of Indianapolis, athletics.uindy.edu, where you can follow all 21 of U Indy's intercollegiate athletics programs. 